Hi and welcome once again to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Instructor here at Digital Drafting Systems. Today we will be looking at XREF Compare. You will notice some similarities between drawing history tools and XREF Compare tools because they are very similar tools and have similar usage. The only difference is that for XREF Compare you do not have to have your file in the cloud. It could be in local storage for it to work. Now let's see how XREF Compare works. Very well, we shall go into Open Files. I'm going to the Dropbox only because the particular file that I'm using is in the cloud. It doesn't have to be there. This is the drawing that we're looking at, the XREF Compare drawing. We'll go ahead and open it. And you will notice that our warning bubble that comes up allows you to go directly into open uh, to compare drawing history here. If I do that, we have these controls that pop up that are very similar to the previous one in drawing history. The difference is that it's XREF compare. If you don't get that little uh, ability to go ahead and select that and you still need to do a drawing compare, Maybe you've been working on it and now it's time for you to go ahead and compare it because it was updated somehow. What you need to do then is you go over here to your XREF control dialog box. Select the one that you want. In this particular case, it's the drawing history. If you right click, you'll have compare recent changes, for example, or selected files. Let's go ahead and say recent changes here. It opens up those tools that we saw earlier and very similar to the previous uh, drawing, uh, rather drawing history that we have on our blog. It's using very similar items. You have the reds not in current XREF, which in this case is not showing. It's giving me the green ones that are only in the current XREF, which are these right here. Okay, it is also shows us the no differences, okay, which is all gray. Now, there's also the white section, which uh, tells us that all of these objects that are here are not in the XREF. So, this is the local drawing. This is the local drawing, and this is the XREF drawing that is being hosted in the drawing. Just like in drawing history, you have your drawing orders, you have your cloud, turn it on or off as we see turn on or off the not compared for example the not in current drawing the items only in current drawing or if we had some the items that are not in the current drawing okay further just like in drawing history we have the ability to change the colors of each and every one of these change them from polygonal to rectangular just like we did in drawing history or change the size now this size is once again is not talking about the size of the arc but rather its proximity or offset distance from the object that is flagging once again you have the ability to turn on or off your hatches okay in this fashion and you have the ability to turn on or off your text. Now, the reason why this is turning gray underneath is because we have the original still there. Very well. We can unpin it or pin it. Remember that if we unpin it and we move away, we need to come back to the little settings dialog here, or rather icon, in order to invoke it and then pin it so it doesn't go away on you. You have the ability to, to turn off or on the XREF compare and to cycle through the changes that were made to the drawing. Once again, once you're done, all you really need to do is hit your check mark right here and then it goes ahead and allows you to work fully in your drawing. I hope you've enjoyed this little blog on XREF Compare, which as we said is very similar to Drawing History. I suggest you look at both of these. 
This has been Jim Cuervo with Digital Drafting Systems, wishing you a happy and safe day. Thank you for watching.